Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of Yasify Pleasant View. Today we're going to be looking at the Caliente Sisters house which is just here next door to Don Lothario. So let's jump right in and let's see what we're going to make their house look like. As always let's just make me smaller. So this is the Caliente house. They've got their default replacements on. <laughs> no idea what this app is. That is not cute whatsoever. So if we just, as always, look at their original house, um, it's kind of like a mirror image to Don. So Don's is like next door, just here. And then the Caliente's house is actually potentially even more basic than Don's. Um, so they've got this living room, which kind of doubles up as a little gym area. And then they've got their kitchen here. And I don't know if this is like supposed to be kind of like, Spanish inspired, like terracotta tiles, warm orangey hues to it. So I'm going to try and keep that kind of theme, I think. We've also got a Michael Bachelor on the table here. This is Bella Goth's brother. And then upstairs, it's pretty simple again. We've got two bedrooms. So one is Nina's and one is Nina's. I'm not going to lie, I don't know which one is supposed to be which. Like, why would one of them have a single bed? One of them have a double bed? I'm not sure. Um, and then they've got a shared bathroom here. Um, they've got a small area just outside of one of the smaller rooms here. And then of course they've got a roof deck similar to Don. So yeah, I'm now gonna go empty the house and um, see what we can do. Here we are with the final shell. And I'm probably gonna do something similar to Don's just because it's like the mirror reflecting of Don, but I really wanna have a separate gym room. These girls don't have an office. I don't even know what jobs they have, actually. Now that I think about this, Dina's unemployed. That's right, because she wants to marry Mortimer, of course. Um, and Nina is also unemployed and she also wants to move out. Okay, wait, let's lock some of these in. I can't resist it. So I want them to have a separate gym room um, and I'd quite like them also to have separate bathrooms um, and I want them both to have double beds as well because it's not fair, it's not fair. I'm going to stop rambling, let's have a fiddle. Hey guys, so I'm here with the voiceover and I am basically just planning out the walls similar to Don's where I had that diagonal entranceway just because I really don't love a house opening straight into a living room which is actually how my house is in real life so I think that's why I have an aversion to it. And then I'm moving the stairs as well because the stairs in the original house are like slap bang in the middle of the floor plan and it, it takes up a lot of space like it can be used to divide the space in half obviously but what's wrong with the little wall do you know like not everyone needs everything to be open plan. So on the upstairs I had a lot of trouble trying to fit two rooms and two bathrooms in here and as well as the staircase to the, to the upper deck um, and I did debate with getting rid of that little side deck area just to make a bit more space but I was like no do you know what I don't want to change that outside of this house um, the shell of it you know so I'm just fiddling around loads and trying to divide this up this diagonal wall that is on the side of the house just causes so much <laughs> grief for a build when your build system is based entirely on a grid. It really does um, throw a spanner in the works. This looks so chaotic right now and to be honest the final build doesn't look much less so. Um, but I'm trying to give them sort of like even sized rooms so one of them's not like put out, you know?
So once I'd finished with the upstairs and put all the doors in, I was kind of playing around with this idea of having these glass panels to just bring a little modernization to this area and make it just a little, a little bit more visually interesting, I guess. Um, but I kind of decided not to do that in the end. So you'll see me get rid of that in a moment. Um, I also changed all the windows in this house. And the initial ones I went with here are the Henford on Bagley windows, which is a set by Lord Crumps, converted from The Sims 4 Cottage Living. So thanks for that. So for the Caliente sisters kitchen, my concept here was to not go for something ultra modern. I think it's a really easy thing to think, oh, they're kind of like young, trendy girls that go for like a modern kitchen. But my theory is, as well as wanting to pay homage to their original kitchen, which isn't modern and flashy, they, neither of them have jobs. They're both like young adults. I don't think they would have the most modern decked out place to live. I would assume that they've like just bought this house, like maybe it's a new build or they've inherited this house or something like that. So I, I don't think that they would have brand spanking kitchen in this house. Maybe when they've got jobs and some money they would go for that. But for now, go for something with a little bit more of a rustic vibe, you know? I also think that if you give Nina and Dina like a really decked out kitchen it doesn't really give Dina anything to aspire to in the game because she's obviously set up to be a very materialistic sim also here is where I have deleted that little concept that I had with the open kitchen and now it means that my conservatory window type thing doesn't fit so I have to fiddle around with this and move it all around um, and I actually think this looks slightly better in terms of like the kitchen being a u-shape and i just really like having this little breakfast kitchen table in front of this big window for them to survey the neighbors <laughs> and when i say neighbors we all know who lives a stone's throw outside this window <laughs> So this kitchen set is from the Full Rent 4 to 2 conversion. And I really like how this kitchen set is not an ultra modern or not a super country kitchen. I feel like a lot of The Sims 4 kits tend to either sit in one or the other camp of being a super modern or super country. Um, so I like that this one is kind of neutral, modest kitchen. Also, not me having so much issue placing this curtain. I also love these little finishing touches that come with the four end stuff, like the radiators and the light switches. I just feel there was there was a radiator in Sims 2 apartment line, but it's nice to just have some variation of that, you know? Like the majority of houses have radiators. For the bathroom here, I'm just using one of the really basic Sims 2 kitchen and bath stuff packs. And I'm trying to just add a little pop of 
colour into this with the yellowy counters. I know what people are thinking when they see me trying to put these toilet roll and light switch in. And it's like, why don't you take the grid off? And to be honest, it's just because I like the freedom of pressing Control F to get the, the smaller grid, but typing in the, the cheat for the like complete no grid and turning that on and off is just quite a lot of faff to just place a toilet roll. <laughs> so um, I just make do where I can. Also, I feel like this house is giving very mid-2000s with this bathroom and this kitchen, and that's exactly what I'm going for. But also, I think I might have said this in one of the other videos as well, but I'm actually colorblind. So if any colors are like way off, um, then that is why. This is why I tend to generally stick to either like the, the standard swatch that things come in, or I go for like really outlandish kind of colors. <laughs> and also being colorblind gives me a valid excuse for painting the ceiling yellow because not many people will do that, I think. I'm kind of trying to match it to the countertop below. Um, I don't know if it's a perfect match. That that yellow on the ceiling is very vibrant. Um, and it's annoying you have to use a floor on a ceiling rather than a paint because I feel like a wallpapered ceiling would be really cool. So this room here in the back is that gym room, very similar to how I use that floor in Don's house as well. I just, I think it's a cool floor. I feel like people should have more spongy floors in their houses. Like, why is my living room not just a spongy puzzle floor? I'll never know. I feel like it was important for the Caliente sisters to have their own gym room because it's one of the only sort of like hobby items that they actually have in their house in the original build. And I feel like they're two girls that would probably take pride in their, you know, physical appearance and keeping fit would be important to them. So I was like, instead of having an, an office because they don't have any jobs, why not just have a gym in your two bed house? <laughs> We go through quite the journey with the living room decor. I really wanted to use this sort of like rounded, cutesy, modular looking stuff. I'm really into this modular vibe right now, and I'm using this in a lot of my builds. Um, something about the curved ones just don't seem that modular to me. So I'm like dropping all this furniture in, and they just look disjointed. Obviously, they're different colours at the minute, and I, I, I do change them to a different colour, and I kind of go for like a pastel, pastel vibes, um, but I end up switching them out for the more square ones, which are inherently more like masculine, and I kind of want this room to be a bit more of like a girly vibe. Um, but yeah, I just don't think they work as modular units. I don't know if they work exactly the same in The Sims 4, but they just look like separate pieces that have been put together rather than one complete piece. All of this furniture I'm using it is straight up from the Dream Home Decorator Kit as well. So not much originality. Here's me fiddling about with things. And this floor is throwing me off, I think, as well, because I haven't put in the actual floor yet. Um, and it's obviously very busy. So for the walls here as well, I was like playing with a bunch of different ones and I suddenly thought I really liked this kind of wood panel one and that actually gave me sort of the jump point what I needed for this room and I thought I'm gonna go, I'm like leaning into this 70s vibe right now. Um, so let's just go with this. And I really wanted to keep these chairs and this coffee table but I thought there's no way that the Calientes would have like a plush sofa, do you know what I mean? They're not going to have just two chairs in their house. Um, so I went for this kind of sectional, is that what they're called? L-shaped sofa. Um, and 
I do wish we had different options for these, like there's not that many options in the game. Maybe there's some downloadable ones, but this one is actually from the game, it's not custom content. This is where I'm like, no, nah, I'm not vibing with these uh, modular pieces, and I go for the square ones. Now, I don't even know if this modular stuff came with these wallpapers, but I just feel like this perfectly fits like a 70s vibe. I just think this looks really cool. I'm actually quite pleased with this. It's probably my favorite part of the house when it gets finished. I also wanted to sort of divide uh, the room to like make the walkway up to the stairs and I think it's quite like a old-fashioned thing to have like a half wall like this. I I've never actually seen a house in the UK with one of these, um, but I put that in and I thought it kind of fit the vibe. And then of course we're sticking Michael Bachelor on the shelf there, pride of place. Because yes, you shouldn't delete the gravestones. I don't think it causes a corruption people thought it did if you have the no link on delete mod but it still never captured me to the one, just in case. And then I'm using this little walkway to stick in like like a casual desk. Um, once again, they don't have jobs, so I didn't want to give them like a, a full-on office. But I thought it's good to have a little space to use a computer. Um, I gave them this little tablet one because, again, I don't think they have need for like a big a big ass computer. So yeah. And then I've obviously got to adjust these pictures as well because they were intersecting that little wall. And I don't know what to do with this funny little space in the corner. I was like, should I put a bookcase in there? And this is where I divide the hallway off of the living room. And I actually, looking at this now, I kind of wish I didn't because I quite like the carpeted hallway thing. I think that makes it look more of the era I'm going for rather than this like separate entrance. But I guess it does tie it into the kitchen, so... So we're now moving on to the upstairs of the house and I'm still kind of like not sold on this layout, um, but stick with it. The first thing I do is I delete the windows because I realize they now don't match up with the ones below. Um, and to me, getting rid of the windows and changing the windows isn't changing the shell too much. But I did find that these Henford windows kind of didn't really work on the top floor based on nothing but my vibes. So I actually go and change all of these windows afterwards. And what made me change the windows was actually finding this greenhouse haven kit door um, 
I realise it's supposed to be to build a greenhouse, but it kind of fit perfectly with that little space that I wanted it to fill. So I basically changed a bunch of the windows to match this front door. The one thing that I feel that this is unfortunately missing is like a matching window that isn't floor length. I appreciate that the reason it doesn't exist is because these are greenhouse door, uh, you know, greenhouse walls. Um, so I kind of had to improvise with different windows in that instance. And I went for the one from the Pets expansion pack, which is like a slightly curved um, corners on it, like atomic windows. I'm also trying out here a bunch of other windows that I've not really looked at before. I thought that was a really good window for that space, but it was kind of the, the base game ugly wooden knotty pine window, so I wasn't really into that. After some fine tuning in the kitchen area, because I just didn't like those windows being right on the edge of the wall outside, we're moving up to the first bedroom. So this first bedroom is uh, Dina's room. Always get them mixed up, Dina. Actually, that's a lie. I don't get them mixed up at all. I know them very well. So Dina's room, I don't know why I went for this pastel pop thing. Um, I've never actually used this one before, so I think I just wanted to use it just because I hadn't used it before. Um, this is kind of giving teenage girl vibes, which I'm not sure is very her, <laughs> but it was fun to play with this. So what I do first is like place all of the objects down and then I change the colours of them afterwards because I find it really difficult to see the colours as I'm going. I, I'd rather see it all in the room as one, if that makes sense. And then this is where I just had another final bright idea to adjust that other room so they're kind of even sizing and they want a massive triangle. And then I'm trying to make this seem a bit more like a influencer girly modern vibe rather than like a childhood bedroom. I don't know if I quite achieved this. 
I just think this furniture lends itself to being quite like juvenile, but it's fine. I also thought using that like sideboard thing as like a end of bed table was quite a cool idea. If I do say so myself. And I don't actually use mod to allow Sims to get into bed if it's against a wall like this. But I thought while well, she's single, it's fine. She can just, you know, sleep on one side. And then if someone comes over, we can move all the furniture around. Also kind of cute that she can sit in bed and look out the window and look at Don's house. Or is that cute or is that creepy? I don't know. I think it's normal to look at your neighbours. <laughs> This is me now trying to get all the colours to match. Again, if you're looking at this and the colours don't match, don't blame me, blame my eyeballs. And I also really like these cute string lights. Again, I'm, I've really gone for like teenage girl vibes and I don't know why I've done that. But you know what, she's going to be moving into Gotham Alice soon, so maybe this can be someone else's room. Maybe Kaylin can do this. <laughs> And then for Nina's room here, it's obviously this little corner room. It's actually quite a big room. It's just really awkward because it's a triangle. So I went for the tiny living kit stuff just because I was like, oh, it's small and compact and I can fit it in this room. In reality, it's not any smaller than any of the other stuff, but I kind of like it. It's just like a Scandi vibe, right? So uh, yeah, I'm just sticking that in. I have no idea if she's going to be able to get into this bed or not. I will play test that afterwards. And then she's got like a nice little ensuite here as well. Do you know what? I'd live in this room, it would be so sick. It's like giving IKEA but cooler. And then Dina's ensuite doesn't actually have any windows in it, but I thought, you know, it's a bathroom don't necessarily need one, so I was at peace with that. It's better than them sharing the bathroom, I feel. I need to get some kind of mod where I can have more customization on these stairs, because those stair banisters are killing me. And then we're carrying on this greenhouse, um, this greenhouse thing up here. So it's like a nice airy open space. And then I'm doing the same as what I did in Don's house with the um, Courtyard Oasis kit, I think it's called. Mostly because I'm actually kind of sick of that kit. I mean, I've only used it once before. But I wanted Don's house and the Caliente house to reflect each other and look similar. Do you know what I mean? That they, they would have been built at the same time by the same developer. So why would they have like outrageously different exteriors? Do you know what I mean? So that is why I did that. And they also just happen to get the exact same furniture from the same shop to match it. <laughs> Uh, 
I did use a different colour though. I use like a a more warmer, orangier colour in, uh, in next door in Don's house. And I actually prefer it. Like looking at this one, it's giving like concrete block in like a not deliberate way. I don't know what I mean by that, but it's just not the vibe. So I prefer Don's overall. But I think I was just really excited to use this kit. Now I'm like, oh, I'm using this kit again because it should match. Now for the hot tub, I was going to put the original like corner hot tub in. But it didn't actually fit in where the stairs now like intersect it so i thought why don't we use the other one the like in-ground one but then like raise it up with the uh with the platforms now i've never actually done this before but in like my play neighborhood i was playing with the kim household and they have you know the one that the household that comes with pets with the dalmatian and cat and they have a hot tub that is in a foundation like this. I was like, oh, I want to try that in one of my books. So that's what I'm doing here. And I fiddle with it for an eternity. Like, obviously, this is sped up, but it just wasn't giving to me. Uh, with the banister on the outside wall, it kind of looked ridiculous that it was like up in the air. And then here, I'm just doing a quick landscape. I just wanted to make their path look a little bit more interesting. I went overboard on the ferns. So I kind of broke it up with some other plants that look a bit more, something that would go with the palm tree. You know? And then I don't often use terrain paints, um, but I really, <laughs> thought I should on this one. So I'm using this random, it's supposedly like pestles, but I thought, you know what, it kind of just breaks up the surface and it's kind of cute. And then I put a driveway with the invisible recolor just in case they didn't want to get a car and then we can just add a car later, but that will be for story playing purposes, you know. So this is where I come back to this ridiculous railing. I was like, they were going to fall out of the, the outside of this thing. But it just looks so dumb that the railing is like just three pieces long, like sitting there, do you know what I mean? So I deliberated this a while. And in the end, I made this whole section raised. And that will also help like Sims rooting to get into the hot tub so that they don't have to all like scoot over from one side because sometimes that can be a nightmare. I also think having the white on the platform just like broke up the, uh, the the concrete block vibes. So I don't know why I then turned it back to concrete. I should have left it white, but there we go. And if you can see me in in the little clip in the corner, I'm chatting away here, thinking, "Oh, I'm done," and I'm like, "Oh, this is the final part of the house." Then I kept seeing little bits that I wanted to change, which is classic. So, do you know, I don't know, I really just turned my little picture off so it's not there all the time. So you can see me in super speed, like staring blankly at the screen. But basically what I'm talking about here is just changing. I put plants on this little table and I thought that's not Rodina. So I switched them out for like some makeup and girly things because I thought that's obviously more her vibe. It's still, it's still over a teenager's room, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that that is now perfect. Um, but yeah, here is the final tour. Hope you enjoy. <sighs> now we're done with the Caliente house. So this top floor, um, multi-leveled, little bar, little hot tub, little seats, love, love, love. Um, then we've got this little area down here, which is just a little more private seating area. 
then the hallway we've got absolutely nothing except a curtain um, and then this would be Nina's room which is a lot more like formal function um, also I used the tiny kit stuff because it's such a small awkward room they might not be able to use this stuff I'm gonna play test that after um, but you get the idea and then just a really simple bathroom and then Dina's room is kind of giving teenage girl vibes for some reason um, but I thought her room would be a bit more like fancy um, so yeah that's Dina's room um, and then downstairs we've got this 70s inspired living room this was kind of paying homage to the original look like the orangey terracotta tiled stuff um, they've only got a mini fridge because there's only two of them I thought we can get away with that um, and then bathroom gym room and then we just have a little bit of landscaping outside so I hope you enjoyed the uh, Caliente Sisters condo makeover. Next time we will be looking at the Broke family trailer, which I think could be one of the most fun ones because I do enjoy a tiny little house. So um, yeah, join next time.